Hello everybody, and welcome to this tutorial. Now, most of you have been wondering that when you record a movie with your GoPro Hero 3, I have the black edition, I don't know if it's for the other editions as well, but for my it is. What those files are, the THM, forget those, they just have uh, metadata and uh, it's, I believe, a thumbnail for editing programs, so you re don't really need that. However, the .lrv file um, that is actually kind of useful because many people don't have really fast computers some of you do but the majority don't have the capability to edit real HD material fluidly so what they did is that when you record the main movie here it makes uh, a smaller one as well uh, at the moment you can't see it because it has a weird extension that Windows does not understand or Mac for that matter um, but when you place it in another folder uh, heck, let's, let's make this proxy however you write that I don't know I don't care actually and just put the .lrv file in there leave this one here leave it named like that the other one don't change the naming, just stay, change the extension. So dot .lrv becomes dot .mp4. Uh, you get this, uh, if you change the file now extension it might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes, we do. Okay, now you see it has turned into a movie. Now if we go back for a minute, watch this one. It's very high res, it's nice, it's all good, big quality, but it's a pain in the ass to edit it, especially when you color grade it or try to make fluid cuts, it might become very troublesome for you, because you don't have a fast computer. Now, what GoPro did, is like I said, they created another file, the .lrv, we just named .mp4, now look at this, very poor quality yet you can still see the general idea of what you were, what you were recording so what does this mean well when you go into the editing program and you import that small file open and we put it into the timeline uh, keep existing settings, ignore that like that, okay um, my composition size is uh, 1080p, I'm sorry uh, so my footage is fairly small when I import imported it so when you right click on it, when you see that uh, don't go here and fill with this forget that, because that's annoying and it doesn't really do what you want to right now so right click on the footage and click scale to frame size now you see the entire picture and lights on your monitor now you can actually see what is happening in full size alright now when you did that you can make your cuts and you make your edits and rearrange your clips or whatever you plan to do with this edit so like this all right now as you can see it has some cuts has some edits oh boom 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 yeah it's amazing let's change this for a little bit like this all right well once you're done editing um, and you want to start color grading uh, this probably won't be the best setting to do that so when you've done all the edits and you're sure it goes down on the music and uh, the edits change on the right moment and the transitions are the best and okay when you're done with all that right click on it make offline media files remain on the disk yes because you don't want it to get deleted click OK now the edits are still there but we don't see anything that's because we unlinked the media from this thumbnail now 
what you want to do is make sure the source is linked again. So right click on it again, link media. Now instead of selecting the, the smaller file again, you go back and you change it to the big file, the real HD final version file that you shot. Click select and boom. Now we have the real HD version with the live cuts in them on the music just like you did it only this time in HD. Now it's ready for color grading and final export. So to recap once you see these files point uh, LRV just rename them .mp4, place them in a separate folder, otherwise the naming won't uh, won't be the same and they can't have the same name in the same folder, so put them in another folder call it whatever you want, I call it proxy you can do it uh, small duplicate or whatever and uh, edit with the small files, once you're done with edit replace them like I showed you with the real footage and you're done and that's how you edit with a very slow computer but still HD quality. Thank you for watching. If you like this tutorial, subscribe, like, and we'll see you next time. Bye.